many of them even plan coups for pastors many of them plan different kind of traps for men of God they search their life to look for loopholes to look for errors to look for their little faults so that they can gossip about so that they can they can spread rumors now in their mind they feel that they are doing the right thing they want to expose the truth they want to they want to uh, expose a false prophet they want to expose a false past but what they don't understand is that it is not them that caught the man it is not you that called the pastor it is god you are not in a position to judge living for god his official letter did not come from you it came from god living to god and the funny thing is the pastor can go home after making a mistake and kneel before god and ask god to forgive him and god immediately will reconcile with the pastor but you will still be have carrying a mindset and a false image of the past that you knew about the man of God's mistake and what has God has already forgiven you. And what happens is this you start receiving consistent of the blessing. Many people have damaged their destiny because of this. Some persons in church when that's why even in church many people are afraid of sharing testimonies they are afraid of telling people their good news because there are some people in church you tell your good news and the next thing they start wishing you back some persons even go as far as kneeling down to pray to the same god and say god why did you do this thing for this person didn't you check where this person is not deserving the other day look at what this person did and you kept and, and you still did this good thing for me, me that have been serving you for years faithfully and you have not done anything for me indirectly what they are telling god is that god you this person don't deserve it take it back take it away from you that kind of a person is in church but he's serving the other side and expecting a gift. 